I'm I'm a vegan. I've been getting my health right. I'm trying to live till I'm 100. So I need to I need to do stuff that sustains me until that period of time. So the like, vegan world, right? Yeah. How long have you been a vegan? Uh, for almost a year now. I did it on my father's uh, 16th year death anniversary, which was February 7th. Uh, it's uh, what's well, about to be October now. So about yeah nine nine months. Why did you make that that that, that change? Uh, various reasons. I, I would I would like to say because um I would like to say it would be it would be very righteous to be like oh you know the the earth and all these things like I learned I learned the the actual environmental effects and the actual like the real in depth philosophies that that takes place when it comes to these farms that the animals are being slaughtered and what's actually going into it like it's really some disgusting grotesque like from morally disgusting to actual physically there being blood and pus inside of your milk and dead rock caught like this this real nasty shits but when I was eating pork fried rice and chicken wings like a gangster right from Chinese food I'm eating it and um I became I don't know what happened but I became viciously aware at the moment that I was ripping the dead flesh off of a chicken's bone arm and I couldn't get that image out of my head and then the next day I went to my cousin's house and she's cooking pasta with uh with um with uh, ground beef you know you know pasta with miso and I didn't see ground beef I saw a pot of boiling flesh and I couldn't get that image out of my head. And I always felt like a hypocrite my whole life because I don't even kill insects. You know what I'm saying? I'm knocking nigga out if I need to, but I don't even kill insects. I don't believe I don't believe that life should be killed because it can be killed or because you don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? It's self-defense, of course, but I'm not gonna just kill a kill a fly for entertainment or kill a fly because it's annoying me. What if a more powerful entity came down and killed you because you were annoying and deemed your life unworthy of living? You know what I'm saying? So me, me as a person who doesn't even kill insects, I don't kill animals. I damn sure don't kill animals. And, and, and I, I felt like a hypocrite still allowing someone else to murder the animal and then serve it to me. So it was an easy process. Um, one, it was easy because I wanted to make that transition for a while, but it didn't become easy until I didn't want the the, the meat anymore, and that's when it became easy. And then what what was more difficult was because uh, that's just vegetarian if you're not eating pescatarian is if you're eating just fish and you cut out those things, and then uh, uh, veg uh, vegetarian is if uh, you can still eat eggs and dairy. Um, it took me a little while to cut out uh, eggs and dairy because um, I'm, I love pastries, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's less uh, conscious that that's the animal relation. But like the cows are raped, the babies are murdered to, to produce the milk. There's blood and pus inside of the milk due to the over milking of the animals due to mass manufacturing. So and, it, and it's disgusting. And the FDA, the FDA approves of it and it causes cancer. And when you look at all the effects that, that the food has, and then when you realize the medical industry and the food industry has the same people up top and that they get you sick so that you could go to the doctor and they don't cure you, they treat you like and just and just to get like and just when you become aware that the trap that they put us in and us as minorities so like when you really start reading, and the more I get in depth, the more I realize this is something I need to do. He's and I need be and, the face and, and, yeah, of it, babe. Yeah, and I need to I need to grow. I need to uh, not and not marijuana, maybe, but uh, I need to grow. <laughs> I need to grow uh, my own food. I need to grow. They, they're taking the they GMO and uh, fruits now. They're taking the seeds out of plants, and they're not allow, and they're holding out to seeds, and they're not allowing you to have seeds, so you can't grow it yourself. You can't grow. You can't find a, a, a true. Why do they have organic fruits anymore? Shouldn't it just be organic? Why is there a subsection for a natural fruit? Why do you gotta pay more for them to not put poison in it? You know what I'm saying? So I wanna grow my own things. I wanna I wanna make people aware, but I'm not one of those pushy forces. No, 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 no. You know no, what I'm no. saying? I'm not, I'm not oh, always murdering and throwing <laughs> throwing blood on people coming out of coat factories. Like, I'm not I'm not that kind of guy. I, I, I believe like I th th this decision really resonated with me because I made it on my own time and due to my own choices. And I believe that if you lead someone on their own path to get to that eventually, it'll be more genuine, opposed to disingenuous, and it'll be something they do for a little while. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely wanna, and just make people aware, I, uh, my, my manager, right, he stopped eating meat, and did it gradually, but he got there. Uh, and it might be little things, like my nephew was going through little asthmatic stuff. I'm like, well, I told my son, I'm like, well, you still giving him like uh, dairy milk? She's like, yeah, yeah, but I'm like, I'm like, we'll try cutting that out, because that, that, that's a, uh, milk has inflammatory things, which increases asthma and these things, and cut it out, now he's breathing better. Like, so it's, it's little gradual changes that you help people with along the way and ideally hopefully one day the world could you know live in peace and this, it'd be this, nice. this young man here is nice. so universally inclined oh thank you oh man I, i'm not as smart as i seem i, I just i just really i really uh i want to grow i really want no 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 what i say that though but i say that and and not to not in a tartan way but i i, I think what happens is in the hip-hop industry we you know it's, it's like you have to portray right yeah you, you have to portray some other so when you tackle other topics outside yeah. of it, you know, people are apprehensive. Oh, no, nah, I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean, so I, I applaud that. Right. You know?